welcome to my class in today's class we will learn about the very basic laws of boolean algebra digital system which is very common and important system in our daily life is defined three ways either by boolean expression or by truth table or by state diagram now in today's class we will talk about boolean expression when we are designing our digital system at logic level that will be designed by logic gates and if the function of that digital system is defined by boolean expression then to implement that boolean expression we need logic gates but we cannot use any number of logic gates to implement that expression to increase the efficiency of that system we should implement that expression by using minimum number of logic gates so that is a key point that we should always keep in our mind when we are implementing a boolean expression by using logic gates that means before we implement that boolean expression we should simplify that expression so that we can use minimum number of logic gates and we have three methods to simplify those boolean expressions boolean method or boolean algebra and that algebra has many laws and the second method is Carnot map or k map and the third method is quine mccluskey method since we are talking about an algebra so there is also a place of constants variables and functions in boolean algebra every variable is called boolean variable in that algebra we have two events true or false yes or no on or off that means we have either the logical high state or logical low state now there are also a place of constants they are called boolean constants but in that algebra we have only two values zero and one so these are the two constant values in boolean algebra and there are three basic functions or not and but though this is an algebra but there is an exception what is that exception in that algebra there is no place of fractions decimals negative numbers square root and cube root next we will learn the very basic laws of boolean algebra the first law a plus zero is equal to a where a is the boolean variable and zero is the boolean constant before we learn about all these laws we will learn four basic operations that we perform in boolean using boolean constants they are 0 plus 0 which results 0 the second one is 0 plus 1 that will be 1 again if it is 1 plus 0 then that will be again 1 and if 1 and 1 these two constant values are added then the result will be 1 so keeping these four basic operations using boolean constants we will learn the basic laws of boolean algebra now we will come to the first basic law now here a as i said is the boolean variable so it can have two values what are the two values zero and one because these are the only two possible constants that we have in boolean algebra now suppose if the value of a is zero so it will be zero plus zero that means what will be the result it will be zero that's what we have learned just now now if the value of this boolean variable is suppose one then it will be one plus zero and what will be that value it will be one so whatever is the value of a this boolean variable zero or one that is getting replicated in the result so when it is zero then the result is also zero when the value of this variable is one then the result is also one and that's why the result has been written as a now the next basic law is a plus 1 will be equal to 1 so again if we take the value of that variable as 0 then 0 plus 1 what will be the value 0 plus 1 is 1 so it will be 1 now if the value of a we take as 1 then 1 plus 1 how much it will be we know the fourth operation it is 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 so that means when the value of a is 0 or 1 whatever is the value it doesn't matter if that boolean variable is getting added with 1 this constant then the result will be always 1 and that's what we have seen here so it is irrespective of the value 
of that boolean variable if we are adding one to that boolean variable now the third law is a plus a is equal to a that means if we are adding a boolean variable with the same variable then the result will be that variable only now if we suppose choose the value of that boolean variable as zero then zero plus zero how much it will be we know that will be zero then if we choose the value of that variable as one then one plus one again how much it will be one that means when the value of that variable is zero then the result is also zero and when the value of that variable is one then the result is also one and that's why it has been written a value variable plus the same variable is equal to the same variable only now we'll come to the fourth law where it is written a plus complement of a and that is equal to one now suppose if we choose zero as the value of that variable then complement of zero is what it is one and complement of one is zero that we already know so zero then complement of a will be how much it will be one and zero plus one how much it is it is one now if we choose the value of a as one then complement of a will be complement of one that means zero and one plus zero how much it will be it will be one that means if we add a boolean variable with its complement value then the result will be always one that's what we have seen here these four basic laws of boolean algebra are based on addition it may be addition of boolean variable with boolean constant or maybe one boolean variable with another boolean variable next we will learn four more basic laws but they are based on multiplication now the first law says that a dot zero it is written as zero so when a is multiplied by zero so if suppose we choose a as or the value of a or that vari variable as zero then zero then we are multiplying zero with zero then that will be zero only this is basically a and function or and operation and initially we have seen or operation which was based on addition now this is based on multiplication and we have again four operations so when we are performing and between two zeros then the result will be zero when we are performing and between 0 and 1 then also the result will be 0 so whether it is 0 and 1 or 1 and 0 then again the result will be 0 but only if we are performing and between two ones then only the result of that and operation will be 1 so this is these are the four and operations that we should keep in mind when we will be learning four basic laws of boolean algebra based on and operation so now if we choose the value of a as one then one and zero it will be again zero only that means whatever is the value of that boolean variable a if we are performing and operation with zero then the result will be always zero only then the next operation is and operation between one boolean variable and one boolean constant that is one and this time we will see what will be the result so now if we choose the value of a as 0 then 0 and 1 this and operation will give us value 0 and if we choose the value of a as 1 then 1 and 1 that value will be 1 that means when a is 0 the result is 0 and when a is 1 the result is also 1 so it is irrespective of the value or the, the boolean constant that we are having as 1 so whatever will be the value of a the result will be in the result that value will be replicated now the third basic law where we are performing and operation between two same boolean variables and the result will be that variable only so now if we choose the value of a as 0 and if we perform and operation between two zero then it will be zero that we know and if we choose the value of a as one and if we perform and operation between two ones then the value will be one so it depends on the value of that variable the same result will be getting now the next law or last basic law boolean algebra and again that is based on boolean variable and its complement and this time it is and operation so now if we choose the value of a as zero so complement of a will be what it will be one and that result will be zero and if we choose the value of that variable and as one then complement of one will be zero again that result will be zero so whatever we are choosing the value of that variable since we are multiplying by its complement so always the result is supposed to be zero only 
so these are the eight basic laws of boolean algebra that we need in every step whenever we are implementing our digital circuit and we are simplifying that boolean expression to use minimum number of gates in the next class we will be learning some advanced laws of boolean algebra till then stay tuned thank you